Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. Our team arrives on time and is always professional. Be sure your unit is ready for the cooler temperatures by visiting our website, callks.com today, and schedule your appointment. It's fast and easy. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today. 205-322-9090, AL certification number 1112. It's the Weather Extreme video, the New Year's Day edition. This is for the 1st of January, 2018. Thanks for watching this morning. I'm James Spann back in the saddle. And you know what the story is. Uh, the wind chill index, as I do this update at 630 in Birmingham, is zero. And all week long, bitterly cold Arctic air stays in place. Let's check things out this morning. There's the water vapor satellite view. The delivery mechanism clearly in place. Big long wave upper trough over the eastern states, basically a cross polar flow. Do we dare look at the numbers? Haleyville 10. These are at 6 o'clock this morning. Coleman and Decatur and Muscle Shoals 11, Birmingham 15. But again, with the wind, the wind chill index in Birmingham at 6 o'clock is sitting at zero. Up north, Nashville 10, St. Louis four below zero. Let's keep going up north. Uh, we note that Hedinger, North Dakota has dropped to 44 below zero. That's not the wind chill. And that's within 16 degrees of tying the all-time coldest temperature on record in North Dakota. That's a minus 60 in partial North Dakota in 1936. Goodness. Wind chill warnings, wind chill advisories for much of the eastern Half of the country down into Alabama. We have a wind chill advisory here and a hard freeze warning down to the Gulf Coast. But on the positive side, no worries with thunderstorms and air like this anytime soon. This is the rain for the next seven days. Uh, this is suggesting uh, maybe a little bit uh, toward the end of the weekend or early next week. But uh, cold is the word for a while. Let's go to the GFS, the 06 c run at noon today. Eastern trough, very coal. That's a 1,050 millibar high near Omaha settling in here. Those are the wind chill indices early this morning at 6 o'clock. And again, those shades of uh, bright blue. And that's down into the uh, Tennessee Valley of North Alabama. Those are sub-zero wind chills. And again, Birmingham with a wind chill index of zero. And up north, looks like the minimum value up there is 64 below zero in the core of the cold air. Ouch. Tomorrow, the high uh, nose is closer, and I still think we stay below freezing all day tomorrow. We went below freezing, uh, what, early yesterday morning or late Saturday night. Now, this is Wednesday. We actually have a chance of uh, reaching 40. Uh, that'll be like a heat wave on Wednesday. So the uh, sub-freezing streak will end briefly. This is a look at the uh, Schreff uh, plumes. You can see, uh, and again, the 32-degree line is highlighted in blue, and obviously below freezing all day today. Probably all day tomorrow. And again, Wednesday, we bump up to uh, about 40. But Thursday, here comes a reinforcing surge of colder air. The high will drop back into the 30s. The wind picks up again. And Friday, Friday morning, we'll be in the teens. In fact, every morning this week, we'll be down in the teens easily. And the high Friday, most likely upper 30s. And no chance of any snow or ice this week, uh, despite this very cold air. Saturday as the weekend begins, the sky will be sunny. We start the day in the teens. Now, we're expecting low, maybe mid-40s. That'll be like a heat wave. And Sunday, clouds will increase. We've got a chance of seeing a high close to 50, and with this next wave coming in, it will be warm enough for just rain. Now, the GFS wants to bring it in Sunday night. This is Sunday night at midnight. We'll go to Monday of next week, a new trough establishing itself, and uh, we have the rain ending on Monday. However, the European is slower. It's got rain coming in during the day Monday, leaving Sunday and Sunday night dry. So there's some timing issues here, but clearly out there toward the end of the weekend or Monday of next week, we'll have rain to deal with. And again, just rain. We'll check the end of the forecast period. This is uh, Wednesday of next week, the 10th. Still heights way below average here and a cold air mass at 1043 high north of Kansas City. It's windy and cold. Temperature anomalies still way below average over the eastern half of the country. We're just having a hard time digging out of this severe deep freeze. Let's check the numbers coming off the European. And again, you can see this week it's just uh, brutal. Uh, highs today in the 20s and then 30s 
mostly for the rest of the week with lows in the teens. A uh, chance we bump up toward uh, 50 Sunday or Monday. And then beyond that, it's got 40s and 30s. But don't be shocked if it's colder than that based on some of the latest uh, guidance coming in. Those numbers skew toward climatology out there in the longer uh, time frame. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. Holiday schedule today, just one video per day. Back to the two-a-day schedule tomorrow for the videos. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today, 205-322-9090, AL certification number 11120.